Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and you're watching Miss Kiki's Curls. Today I have a very, very, very exciting video. I literally can't even believe that I'm filming this video and that I have this item. Uh, but as you probably saw from the title, this is an unboxing for the Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessories, accessoires, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, but basically it is the Louis Vuitton multi pochette bag that has been super, super popular and super hard to get a hold of. So I am just really thankful, blessed, and excited that I actually was able to get this bag, especially during quarantine. Basically, I'm going to split this unboxing into two parts. First part, just like my Prada unboxing, is going to be the story of this bag, how I came to get it. And then second part will be the actual unboxing. So if you are only interested in a certain part of that, you'll know whether to keep watching right now for the story or whether to skip ahead for the actual unboxing. I will try and leave a timestamp um, either on the screen or down below so that you can skip past all of my talking if you need to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the story. Basically, this bag, I think I saw it either maybe like a year and a half ago. And I just fell in love instantly. Like I was like, this is the most beautiful bag ever. I thought about it for a little while and then finally I was like, you know what? I really like this bag. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. And I thought, hey, I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna get it. I'm just gonna go buy it. It's gonna be easy. I'm not gonna have any issues. And I go online and I'm not able to find, well, I find the bag, but it's not available. So then they say, you can call the store. So I'm like, okay, you know, I have a store like 30 minutes away. I'm gonna call them and I'm gonna go pick it up or I'm gonna order it, have it sent to the store. And I couldn't do that. Like it was not available. So the struggle was real. I was like, once it restocks and it's available, I'll just get it whenever it's easier to obtain. I'm not gonna stress myself out. Fast forward now to this year, quarantine, all of that. I belong to this Louis Vuitton lovers group on Facebook and I had been seeing people like posting things on there, getting like these hard to find Louis Vuitton items, saying they got them on the website. I just decided like to check the website from time to time. So I checked the website and literally I did see that from time to time just like very sought after items would pop up out of the blue and then one night i was looking online and i found the multi pochette so i found it in the color pink it was available online i was literally shocked like i was so shocked i didn't really know how to react which is why i reacted all late um but I was like, should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? Well, it's on the website now, you know, maybe it'll be up for a while. Let me take my time. Let me think about it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I put it in my basket, went through the whole process, went through the checkout, and I was like, cool, I'm good. However, once I did hit checkout, I noticed that it said like order confirmation. There was no confirmation number. And then it said like, like there was some kind of error or something like that so, so i went back to the site and then again the items like in my cart so i was like well i'm assuming it didn't go through so let me try it again so i go and try to order one more time and the same thing happened and it's showing um another email from paypal saying you know the money um the amount for the purchase but still no confirmation from um, Louis Vuitton, I will count on Louis Vuitton, and like whenever I would go to purchase history, it did not show that item. So I kind of figured, you know, maybe somebody else purchased it before me, maybe it's a computer glitch or whatever, but I'm not going to keep trying it because that's already double the amount that could possibly be taken out of my account. So I just let it go and I went to sleep because it was late at night. <laughs> so the next day, um, I checked and again, I had not received a confirmation from Louis Vuitton. A couple days went by, nothing. And um, I checked my PayPal, I checked, well, I checked my account and nothing had been taken out. So I was like, okay, we're good, whatever. So then I was like, well, you know, I checked and the bag was there, I think, um, at least temporarily. 
So it's like, let me keep checking and see if it's like Zara where things just pop in, pop out and you have to get them really quick. So I decided I'll just keep checking. I checked for maybe like three days and literally nothing. So then on the third or fourth day, I checked maybe around 11 o'clock and the bag was in stock. So this time I was prepared. I was like, okay, add to cart, check out, cart information, boom, we're purchased, we're good. And this time, whenever I did submit the order, it actually showed me an order confirmation on the screen. And then of course I got the notification from PayPal about the purchase. So I was like, okay, I think, I think it went through. The package arrived today. Um, it was shipped through UPS and just like with my Prada bag, like they just left my bag at the door. I don't know if Prada was FedEx or UPS, but regardless, like signature should be required. And the tracking for both bags said signature was required, but nobody got my signature. Nobody waited for my signature. So this morning, whenever I was checking, um, or whenever I was just, you know, reading reviews, looking at things online, I did notice that people were posting in the group on Facebook that I belong to about receiving Louis Vuitton items and them not being in a Louis Vuitton box, but just being like in a generic box. They said that there is some kind of like box shortage and people were like really disappointed about that. So I was like, really? Like I did not spend all this money on this bag, didn't go into the store. So I'm not having that store experience to then, you know, receive it in the mail in some generic box. Like if I'm spending this money, I definitely want some of the experience. So, um, yeah, receive the box. I opened it up and I did check and I did receive a box. So I was really excited about that. But other than that, I have not looked at the bag. I have not examined it. I have not taken it out. I just saw the box and I was relieved. So now that that story is out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing. As I mentioned, this came in through UPS. It actually came in this fairly small box in my opinion. When you open it, it actually says Louis Vuitton here, which I like. Um, on the front, it does say uh, LV USA Digital, and it doesn't like really say anything that it's specifically Louis Vuitton, which again, I like just like Prada because you don't want people to know your business, okay? You don't want like a whole Louis Vuitton logo when you're getting something mailed to your house. So then you open the box, there is these two tissue papers, and that's what it looks like inside. Um, first thing on top is this envelope, which I think has received, yeah. So this just has um, my receipt, it does have a return label in case I decide to return it, which I highly doubt. But here is the box that it comes in. It's like a very slim rectangular box. Um, I think the one that I got my Alma BB in, in France is like more of a square box. So this is cool because this is different. And then it is one of the magnetic boxes that you open like that. I think sometimes they tie a ribbon as well. Clearly they didn't do that for me. And whenever you go ahead and open it, it's like that in its lovely dust bag. And I really like the Louis Vuitton dust bags. I feel like they're good quality. Oh my gosh, my heart started beating. I just got really excited. And this is what the bag looks like in the pouch. And then you open this, there is another, okay, another dust bag and another one, two dust bags. And then right here, this is in plastic wrap and this is the thicker strap and then the chain strap. And I'm wondering, I think this is authentication info. So this is the strap. I did go ahead and get the green color. That was what was available. And I like it. I thought it would be more of like a khaki color, like a more brownie green, but it's more like a, like a dark emerald green. I don't know, um, but that's what it looks like. And then this is the chain that you come out which is just a little chain strap, cute. And this is authentication info. Yeah, this is um, basically about the care. Move on to this a small little dust bag, and I really love how everything is individually bagged. Like, that's 
awesome. Plus I love the dust bags because they're great quality. Um, this is the little Louis Vuitton pouch. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have this. Um, so that's what the front looks like. It just has Louis Vuitton in the middle, the monogram, and then the back is cute because it has like a smaller one with smaller monograms. So that's cool because you can kind of wear it either way and it gives a bit of a different look. And then, yeah, just open inside and it is padded. So, oh, there's two more bags. Did I say that? One, two, three, four. There's four dust bags. So then the next item is in this small pouch as well. And this has one of the pochettes in it. Very beautiful. Just trying the zipper. Don't want to have any issues. Uh, looks like that. Very cute. Regular Louis Vuitton monogram. And then in the bit of a larger dust bag like a dust bag for my dust bags um, is the larger bag same thing um, the same print and you gotta check everything guys there's like a little part where it possibly gets stuck um, but as I played around with the zipper it kind of chilled out so yeah these are all of the pieces of the bag <laughs> Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it together now. Okay guys, so the bag is put together. We have the chain, we have the two pochettes, the strap, and the little coin purse. Um, I just love it. I think it is beautiful and amazing. And uh, I just, I really like Louis Vuitton in my experience. Um, I just feel like it is just great quality like my bags have held up so well um, and this just feels like quality so I absolutely love it I'm gonna just take a second to look in the mirror all right guys so I'm back I changed my shirt because I really did not like how this looked with my top that I was wearing um, but I really like the bag I think it's really really beautiful um, I am just not a hundred percent sure about this strap I'm wondering if I would have liked the pink color a little bit more, which I know is kind of an unpopular opinion because I believe most people go for the green and the green even resells for more. Um, but I do, I think it's really cute. Um, it's really nice and it's definitely like a statement bag, but I do think I kind of need to like play around with it a little more. Just, I don't know, not a hundred percent. And that could also have to do with the fact that I have not eaten lunch yet. Whenever I don't eat, I literally cannot make a single decision. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit more. I mean, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Like I said, this color, I'm not 100% sure on. I love the versatility of it. So I'll probably have to like play around with it more, wear it different ways, and then kind of decide. exactly what I want to do. I just noticed there's like a small, very small like little mark, like not mark, like dot, like indent under the Louis Vuitton Paris here. So, and I don't see it on the other one, but I'm also having a hard time seeing because I have the um, lighting on on my phone. I have the flash on to record this. So that's a little disheartening and I may contact them disregarding that. But that is my unboxing of this bag. I really like it. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. I just need to make sure because, like I said, my reaction is just a little different from the Prada bag. So I just need to make sure that it is exactly what I want and that I love it. You guys enjoyed this unboxing of my Louis Vuitton multi Pichette accessories. I am still really excited about this bag. I'm really happy that little dot kind of irritated me. I am really excited to have this bag. I'm really shocked that I was able to get it. And I'm really happy that I was able to share it with you guys. And now you know the trick. Just go online at 11 p.m. and you'll get it. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much um, for watching. Please make sure that you give this video a like. Please subscribe if you have not already. Please comment below if you think if you love the bag, if you hate the bag, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you have this bag and how you like it, what color you have it in. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.